Hello everyone, this is your boy bringing you something of an original. As you see before you, this is actually um, a throwback Saturday, if you will. Um, this particular item here, I, I just happen to have dug out the boxes over there you're about to see. Um, see that white box? The item that's right here came out of them boxes right down there, that white box down there. I was digging through, digging on some stuff that I was looking for, and I came across this item right here that is before you. This is an item that, that, that I bought way, way back in the early 2000s. Um, I'm bringing to you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wrist camera, wrist watch type digital camera from Casio. Yes, you heard it right. This is a Casio product that I bought way back in the early 2000s. As you can see before you, this this is the watch except the way it looks. And it's supposed to be, it says, view recorded images in color on your computer. The watch actually is black and white, but once it's recorded, once it gets onto the computer itself, it's in color. And as you can see before, as you it says memory for up to 80 images, infrared image, data of communications, visual data banks, let you create a phone book of images with phone numbers. And it's also water resistant, as you can see. That's what it says there. Now I take a look on, on, on the side of the box that you know where it all comes with in general, or better yet, what it all does. Since it's countless used throughout the day, PC link and interchange link. Um, let me tell you this here for transferring recorded color images to the computer for editing. And over here, the interchange link it says for exchanging data between two wrist camera nodes. On the other side, right here, as you can see, here's the, the price of the item when I bought it which is the correct price, $199. Now this watch probably can go for a little bit more than that now because it's a classic digital camera watch. And on the back end, as you can see, all some more information, see the specifications at the top here. 25,000 pixel color CMOS sensor, watch, you know, watch display, and it says 16 graphic scales. These are old images that you don't see on cameras anymore. Pretty much phones for that matter. Recorded image, 176 by 144 pixels. Now, the now pixel still exists. It just, the thing is, this watch doesn't have much pixels. You can see the pixels are very low. 176 by 144, that's very low pixels. But it's for, for the full color. Image frame, I'm sorry, image format. JPEG, which means that you can put this, you can put the pictures on your personal computer, and you can download it from there on um on on your files for that matter. So JPEG are actually file. I mean JPEG are actually file file letters. Data communication specific specifications, infrared data communication, data rate one one hundred fifteen. KP, KBPS maximum, distance 10 centimeters maximum, and right here at the bottom it says also maximum computer system requirements. PC, PC, AT, or compatible, keyboard, display 800 by 600 DOTs, 16 bit high color, or that, um, greater recommended which means that your computer has to have all this stuff for it to actually work and c cd cd rom drive as you can see today computers do not even have no nothing near a cd rom drive it's all, it's all about it's all about the on um, the hard drive now cd rom is not on the no more mouse or a equipment pointing device and right at and right, and right the bottom, else also is some more information. It's an infrared adapter OS support chart. So it so it so it actually has Windows 2000, you know, Windows 2000 don't exist anymore. Windows ME, 
Windows 98, 98SE. And you go straight across here, says PS with bulletin infrared point. As you can see, the all zeros down. According to all the window information on the side here, USB infrared adapter, which is what's in, which is what's in the box. Uh, P PAD 5, zero all the way down to all the way down to the bottom corner of the three here as well. And on the other side here, it says nine pin sense serial infrared adapter, which also is in in this item as well. And it says Mac OS not supported. Above state support chart does not guarantee to work on all PCs. So that means that it has a limited PC use. Um, optional infrared adapter does not support PC with built-in infrared point, which means that if your computer does not have infrared information, the pictures off the watch will not be downloaded. So that's some information that what this item contains. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys right quick so, so y'all get a specific look at what's inside the box. And there is the watch itself, as you can see. It's um like I said, this is an old watch, y'all. So so like I said, you, you don't find watches like this no more that has a back port to open up for the battery, which by the way, I got a battery for the watch uh, on my left hand side of, of the um camera, which is right here. That's the watch right that's the watch battery there. And on the other side is the old watch battery. So we're not going to even put even discuss the old watch battery. The only just the new one only. Um as you can see, this is the watch itself. Um you you can pretty much say that, that this is actually the first watch. Well, actually the first camera watch that was actually invented way before any other camera watches today, like um Garmin, um iOS by um, Apple or Samsung. This watch is the first watch that was invented way before those watches, as you can see. It had all the buttons, and this is the screen, as you can see. All the correct buttons, the mode button, the light button. Um, with that uh, reverse and reverse, reverse and and horizontal button. I'm not, I'm not quite sure exactly what it is, but. This is the watch, y'all. Um, like I said, look at the band. See, the band very old and dirty. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put the watch down here on the side, right quick, and let you all see what else on the inside of the box itself. Let me get all this packaging out, real quick. See, as you can see, this is the the main adapter. Also, that came with the watch. This is this all the coils and stuff there. See. See, that's all what this is. This is just the camera. This is the infrared camera that, that works with your PC. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but see here, see here's your PC adapter here. This is what this is a PC adapter. PAD that I built on the back of the box. This is what this is. See that's your um your adapter. Now tell me how many adapters that you see like this these nine days. No, no way do you see adapters like this now. And this is the infrared infrared item here. That's what that is. Well, all the information on the, on, the, on the bottom. That's what that is. So we put it to the side right quick. Cause that's the most stuff in here as well. Okay. Put it to the side. And see this is all the this is the, actually this is just the manual here. That's what this is. Um just letting you know how it works. Uh, model number 2111. This, this is just the model number. Of course, so the, it wasn't many of these watches made. So this is the model number for it as well. Add, add model or model, however you want to call it. See if the user's guide. Um, all, here, all, all, all the other paperwork that comes right along with it. Now you know how it all works. All that information there. Um, books. And it's the uh, KCO thing that I had for so long. I just never sent it off. See, that's all the information, folks. That's basically what that is. So we're gonna put that off to the side right quick. And nothing else is in it. Well, actually, there's a DVD inside as well. Here's the DVD. This is what you use to put inside your computer. I guess this is actually used to help deal with the CZ. This is a KCO Risk Camera 2 software. This is for Windows 2000 ME or 98, like we read on the side of the box. This is what this is. Put that back inside. 
And um, and that's all, folks. Put all the information on, on, on the other end right quick. Get rid of all of that. Now, back to the watch itself. So, what I'm going to do is open up the back of this watch here and place the battery, drew it back on, and operate the watch for operational. Got the good old knife right here that's going to, going to take care of all, all the information. And there you go. Got it off. See? That's the inside of the watch. All the other, all the, everything's around it. It's it, the um, computer part of the watch, camera, and all. See, that's the camera right there, as you can see. Um, it takes live pictures. Um, I had this watch for many, many years. I used it, and I don't think the pictures that I once had are on here anymore. So, let's go ahead and put the battery in. Yeah, the battery. Put this back on right quick, as you can see. All right. Now, I'm going to use the good old knife to twist it back on. There you go. Ah, voila. There it is. See, it's operational. Um, play one. See, there you go. IRM. See, that, see that's the menus right there. Um, alarm is off, timer, all of that, inf all the information that you see there. There's the, um, then you know where this is where all the pictures go, as you can see there. All right, get out of that. And over here, some more information here. Um, let me see. Okay. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm still, I, like I said, when I first bought this watch, I was very, very excited. I had it back then. You had layaways. The watch cost me $199 or over $200. Back, back then, it had the insurance that came with the watch. We made it about $220 for a three-year insurance plan. But when the um, battery went out, I wasn't able to do it because I had to work for that darn long. And the insurance plan played out. So, with that being said... Put that to the side right quick. That is your Casio wrist camera, wrist watch type digital camera by Casio. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. One love.